Exercise 8. Prepare journal entries to record the following transactions involving both the short-term and long-term investments of Corvo Corporation, all of which occurred during calendar year 2011. Use the account Short-Term Investments for any transactions that you determine are short-term. Letter A. On February 15th, paid $110,000 cash to purchase Anthem's 90-day short-term notes at par, which are dated February 15th and paid 10% interest. These are classified as held to maturity. The journal entry is a debit to short-term investments held to maturity, $110,000, and a credit to cash. Letter B. On March 22nd, bought 950 shares of Frain Industries Common Stock, at $45 cash per share plus a $190 brokerage fee. These are classified as long-term available for sale securities. The journal entry to record the purchase is a debit to the long-term investments available for sale $42,940. 950 shares multiplied by $45 per share $42,750 but don't forget that the brokerage fees are included in the cost of the asset. We add $190 for a total cost of $42,940 and credit cash $42,940. Letter C. On May 15th, received a check from Anthem in payment of the principal and 90 days interest on the notes purchased in Transaction A. First, let's calculate the amount of the interest. The principal $110,000 multiplied by the rate 10% is $11,000 multiplied by 90 divided by 360. Interest revenue is $2,750. We debit cash for the maturity value $112,750. Credit the short-term investments held to maturity for the par value $110,000 and credit interest revenue for 2750 Letter D. On July 30th, paid $33,000 cash to purchase Moto Electronics 9% notes at par, dated July 30th, 2011, and maturing on January 30th, 2012. These are classified as trading securities. The journal entry to record the purchase is a debit to short-term investments trading securities $33,000 and a credit to cash. Letter E. On September 1st, received a $0.48 cent per share cash dividend on the Frain Industries common stock purchased in Transaction B. The cash receipt is equal to 950 shares multiplied by $0.48 cents per share, a total of $456, and a credit to dividend revenue. Letter F. On October 8th, sold 475 shares of Frain Industries common stock for $51 cash per share, less a $170 brokerage fee. The debit to cash is equal to 475 shares multiplied by $51 per share, $24,225, but then we have to subtract the brokerage fee. The net receipt is $24,055. We credit the long-term investments available for sale for the portion of the shares sold. Let's go back and look at the journal entry from March 22nd. On March 22nd, when we bought the 950 shares, we debited the long-term investment account for $42,940. On October 8th, we're selling 475 of the 950 shares, half of our purchase so we credit the long-term investments available for sale for the cost of all of our shares, 42940 multiplied by the portion sold, 475 divided by 950, $21,470. And we credit gain on sale of long-term investments for the difference, $2,585. Letter G, on October 30th, received a check from Moto Electronics for three months' interest on the notes purchased in Transaction D. In Transaction D, we purchased $33,000 worth of 9% notes. 33,000 multiplied by 9% multiplied by 3 twelfths is a total cash receipt of $743, and we credit interest revenue. 